Liam here just said that he's in earth and space science and he doesn't really understand why I have to take that class, Lewis, because I already know everything there is to know about earth and uh, space Lewis, science. you're gonna make me look bad. So I asked Liam one question, information we're gonna share with the entire school right now. I said, what was the question I asked? Okay. Don't even remember the question. I said, what was the mission that went to the moon? Now, in Liam's defense, he did say, wasn't that one of the Apollo missions? And I said, it was. Which mission? And then he just started throwing out numbers. He said, 13 was your first one, 13. But if you're not sure, throw out numbers. That's how you get things done. He said, 13. I said, no. His next guess? 17. <laughs> he guessed 17 after 13 was incorrect. And I said, no. He guessed two. I said, no. He guessed five. I said, in all fairness, after 17, I was like, okay, I'm just going to start throwing out random numbers. None of these are going to work. Right. So uh, for all of the students in the building, since Liam doesn't need to take the class because he already knows everything. Well, now I do know everything because you told me. You I, told me. I told you, if, if you're going to say you don't need earth and space science because you know everything and you can't answer the first manned mission to the moon, there's a problem. Now, I would like to go ahead and clear the air for just a second. For those of you who do not know, the first man was landed on the moon. Now, Liam knows the answer. On Apollo what? I forgot again. 11. Apollo 11. Now, that's a little bit of a trick question, Keegan, because the first manned flight to the moon was actually Apollo 10. We did send three astronauts to the moon, and they circled the moon in orbit, I believe it was 10 times, if memory serves me correct. Well, that's fitting. Just to make sure, just to make sure that we could get to the moon and get home. And then on Apollo 11, they actually um, landed on the moon itself. So, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, and you should, Apollo 11 was the first man landing on the moon. Do you know the name of the astronaut who set foot on the moon? I, surely you know this, Keegan. It starts with an N. We're asking you. Neil. Neil. Yes, she had the name. Huh? Yeah, you got the name. Yeah. Neil, do you know the last name? Very strong. Are you being funny? Because you're half what? You're half there. <laughs> Armstrong. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Now, hold on a second. Clearly, everybody knows this. There is no moon, and it was all faked. Oh, you're gonna be taking Earth and Space Science. It's a busy day. Homecoming is almost here. We check in with Miss Jolly as football season quickly approaches. Several of our students got the opportunity of a lifetime this summer to participate in the Junior Olympics. We'll talk about fake apps and the warning signs you should be aware of. Lenny will remind us to sign up for the band app. And finally, Mu Apatheta gets ready for another year. Today, Friday, August 17th, the weekend is just hours away but EVTV starts now. Tryna play me, they ain't know no better. Herp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. Chanel made play, so they all are jealous. Oh my God, now they all are jealous. Brand
brand new drip. Hope they all got umbrellas. Y'all don't fit in, call them all Cinderella's. And I heard your last shit, dog, you can do better. You ain't got shit on me, homie, that's facts. I just bought a new crib, I buy another for the tax. We ain't in the same league, we ain't in the same bracks. I ain't made a joint yet, they already know it slaps. Now I need the dollars. Got a new girl and she look like Madonna. Found a new flow and it's hot like the sauna. Buying these stocks, I don't care about designer. I'm tryna play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. And now I made play, so they all look jealous. Tryna play me, they ain't know no better. Welcome Perp to Eagle Vision for Friday, August 16th, 2024. I'm Bree, and today's top story highlights homecoming as we prepare for the start of football season. It seems early, but homecoming will be September 27th this year. At just over four weeks away, Miss Jolly has some important information ahead of the annual event. Good morning, students. This is Miss Jolly, and I want to talk to you briefly about homecoming. As you may know, it is September the 27th, so we need to go ahead and get started. If you are interested in having your name on the ballot to be to be voted on for homecoming court, you will need to sign up with Miss Johnson in room D13. And the deadline to sign up is August the 22nd, so that's Thursday of next week. And um, if you meet the requirements, which would be the administration will look at your grades, your attendance, your behavior, and if you meet their requirements, your name will go on the ballot. And then we will vote. Um, it will probably be around August 27th when we vote on that. So again, girls, if you are interested, you need to go see Ms. Johnson in room D13 to sign up to be voted on for homecoming court, which is September 27th. AAU stands for the Amateur Athletic Union and is a national organization that provides track and field opportunities for the students throughout the country. Good morning, EVTV and Eagles. Today we are talking about AAU Trek. We know it's not in season, but there are leagues that perform year round. Uh, there are teams, several teams that are within the area, DeSoto County and Memphis. Uh, there are teams that you can join. Uh, there are teams that you can be invited to. Uh, we have four, four runners that ran in the Junior Olympics this year. So that is a national ranking system. Uh, what they do is they go throughout states. They, these kids came from California, Texas, Carolina, uh, and they ran at Winston-Salem, North Carolina this year. Now they ran in several meets uh, throughout the Memphis area, Arkansas, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana. Uh, we had a fifth guy here that ran, that runs for us as well, Floyd. Uh, Senegal ran, uh, Floyd Dixon ran, uh, Lance McGowan, Tyree, Jameer Jackson, uh, and this young lady we're looking at now that's dolling herself up <laughs> is Amaya. Uh, Krishana Lipscomb is one. Uh, we've got several of them. Desriana Flowers. So pretty much uh, the core of our track team ran this summer. Uh, it's an invited league. Now, they did earn national rankings. Some of them are ranked up to the top 30 in the country now. So be on the lookout. We will be looking for uh, parts of our track team this year to fill in where we missed off last year. If you would, give us a holler. We'll be looking for you. Uh, if they're interested in joining AAU, like I said, there's several teams. Uh, I can get you in contact with some of the coaches. Uh, if you would, holler at Coach Lane as well. Uh, but we do know several coaches in the area. There's coaches that reach out to us uh, throughout the school system and the county. They're looking for talent all over. Uh, if you would, just give one of us a holler and we'll get you in contact with someone. Christiana Lipscomb got the chance to participate in the Junior Olympics this summer as part of AAU. We sat down with her earlier this week to talk about the experience. What are some of the things you do at AAU? Um, in AAU, we did travel a lot. We had practice more like three times a week. It started at five, maybe ended around eight. So it was quite a lot to handle. And the practices were intense. It was like a love-hate relationship. What are some of the events you got to run in? I originally went to run in 400 and 800, which is 400 is one lap around the track, 800 is two laps. However, I did not qualify in those, but I did qualify in race walk, which is exactly what it sounds like. I hate it. 
and steeplechase where you jump over a, a very small hurdle and over water. You got to participate in the Junior Olympics? Yes, I, I really enjoyed it. A lot of the food there was nice, a lot of the people there was nice. I loved my team and it was just a nice environment to be around. I love North Carolina. As the school year gets underway, we wanted to remind students of the pitfalls of social media and good practices to follow online. Over the next few days, we'll be featuring a number of short clips in our mini-series. We're talking about social media hazards. Today, let's take a look at fake apps. Fake apps are apps claiming to fill a purpose, but are counterfeit, ineffective, or harmful to the user's device. Here are some tactics to prevent this threat. Get apps directly from verified developers. Check out user reviews. Read the app profile for quality language and description. Be cautious of entering credit card information. The developer profile should lead to a company website. And be suspicious if the deal sounds too good to be true. Woo, boy! Tell you what, boy, we here today, we're talking about the band app. Boy, we got Deucey here talking about the band app. Deucey got, oh, got it upside down there, boy. Here we go, tell them about the band app, Deucey. Tell them what is it? All right, the band app is where you can communicate with your your teachers, uh -huh. your counselors, uh -huh. and your classmates. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think this this about it. It's about getting the information, boy. It's the way we get the information out to the students. Tell them about getting the information to the students, do you see? What I'm supposed to say? What the band out does, boy! See, see, the classes that, I, that I'm in, I can communicate with them about like, like the class work and all that, yeah. And when there's important information, boy, that we need you to know, it's going to roll through on the band app, boy. Holy cow! Holy cow! If you don't have the band app, you need to download it on your device, boy. I'm talking about your Fire Tablet, or your phone, your iPhone, your Android, or your iPad, boy. What you got here, Deucey? What is this, an iPhone, boy? Yeah, I got an iPhone. He got an iPhone, yeah. boy, Deucey. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let's talk to some of our satisfied customers, boy. You need to have it. It's great. Does the band app give you all the important information you need? Yes. Really? Yes. What is something the band app has told you about this year? When certain tests are. Not a whole lot of happy customers here. Holy cow! Holy cow! Tell us something the band app has done for this happy customer right here. We talking the band app, boy. We talking the band app, boy. If you don't have the band app, you need to download the band app today, boy. You go to the commons. You scan the QR code. Tell them about scanning the QR code, boy. All right, you scan the QR code. It's gonna take you to band app, and then all you gonna do is print download, and you got it. That's right, boy. You gonna download the band app. You are gonna download the band app, boy. This week's feature vocabulary words are distinguish, efficient, and emit. Distinguish, recognize or treat someone or something as different. Efficient, being effective without wasting time or effort or expense, able to accomplish a purpose, functioning effectively. Emit, give off, send forth, or discharge as of light, heat, or radiation. Tabletop Club is back in session. Students interested in pen and paper role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and board games like Catan need to see Mr. McGowan in B8 or Mr. Glidewell in F5. 
Hey, um, this is Mr. Smitherman. Um, I sponsor Mi Alpha Theta, which is the math club for Horn Lake High School. So i um, just going to kind of start getting it out there. If you are interested, you know, just kind of touch base with me. Plan on getting a little more information out, um, you know, here pretty soon. But if you are interested, please just kind of touch base with me. We do kind of a few things through the year. Um, if you remember last year, we did the challenge problems and, you know, kind of got those going towards the end of the year and a few other things kind of throughout the year. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, touch base. I'm in B16 at the very end of uh, B Hall. Students, if you drive to school, you must have a current parking pass. Students who do not purchase the parking pass will have their vehicles towed. You can purchase your parking pass in the library and students will have two weeks to purchase the parking pass. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing, and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Herp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. Bitch, and now I made plays, so they all look jealous. Oh my God, now they all look jealous. Brand new drip, hope they all got umbrellas. Y'all don't fit in, call them all Cinderella's. And I heard your last dog, you can do better. You ain't got shit on me, homie, that's facts I just bought a new crib, I buy another for the tax We ain't in the same league, we ain't in the same bracks I ain't made a joint yet, they already know it slaps Now I need the dollars Got a new girl and she look like Madonna Found a new flow and it's hot like the sauna Buying these stocks, I don't care about designer Tryna play me, they ain't know no better Herp on me, you can call me Chris Webber Brand new whip with the brand new leather And now I made plays, so they all look jealous Tryna play me, they ain't know no better Herp on me, you can call me Chris Webber Brand new whip with the brand new leather And now I made plays, so they all look jealous Lies spread quicker than the truth If you always talking about me, they know more about you Worry back, set the rest up on the place If they don't pay me to respond, then I gotta walk away b, &B elevation high, laying low I'm with the ten who's down to f***ing cook me shit I got from Trader Joe's Say they making moves, but we making more I stay in the zone, y'all just staying broke, way to go Tryna play me, they ain't know no better Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber Brand new whip with the brand new leather And now I made plays, so they all look jealous Tryna play me, they ain't know no better Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber Brand new whip with the brand new leather And now I made plays, so they all look jealous Yeah, Ray Lake stayed and we make waves here Running the point, I make plays like Shakespeare Every day I make it a great year So every year I feel like the day's near, yeah Whole catalog made from a home stew Quick scroll through like shopping at Whole Foods With the fresh produce, my shit is a whole mood A-E-I, I don't owe you And he wrote through scoop Yay tally you, me another go-to Two video shoots, gotta look cute Get my brand coupon, it's a lot of stunt doubles And they tryna play me, they ain't know no better Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber Brand new whip with the brand new